Now live pictures from Chopper 2 over one of Chicago's biggest construction projects. Work on the Jane Byrne interchange is finally almost over. That's right. A ribbon cutting is planned for tomorrow. So something must be happening. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live for us. Lauren, exactly how long has this project been underway? Well, Marie and Jim, if you can believe it, the groundbreaking for the Jane Byrne interchange happened nine years ago in the fall of 2013. Now we've learned a few things are left on the to do list, including landscaping and painting. Even so, Illinois Department of Com uh, Transportation feels confident enough to celebrate how far they've come. Hey, let me get a beef Polish. Jim's original is a pit stop after some stop and go. The Polish sausage joint borders the Dan Ryan, situated just after the tangled web of traffic cones that make up the Jane Byrne interchange. The state promises this orange mess of merges will be cleared up before New Year's. I don't really have any opinion about it. Um, the traffic is kind of horrible in Chicago. A non-believer after almost a decade under construction here. Nine years of breaking and merging, lane shifts and ramp closures, with the hopes of unclogging a system that was designed in the 1950s. Illinois Department of Transportation even called it one of the worst bottlenecks in the country. Once this gets done, the inbound side of the Eisenhower is going to be a whole lot better. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be optimistic. No, CBS 2 traffic reporter Chris Habermill has had a bird's eye view of the project for years. He doesn't envy those tasked with smoothing a path for the 400,000 vehicles that pass through here daily. You're dropping the speed. You're trying to interface between Ida B. Wells and basically the rest of the interstate system right there. It's, it's a tall order. A tall and expensive order. This interactive IDOT map shows all the checks completed over the years. Checks that went more than $250 million over budget. Will it all be worth it? It's been very hectic, very uh, troublesome to, you know, regular commutes, but thank God it'll be open. So we'll see how that goes now. Here's a look at the Jane Byrne interchange right now from Chopper 2. We asked IDOT what sent this project so over budget, and the answer is a little complicated, but the state boils it down to limiting construction overnight and on weekends, as well as time consuming improvements to the Eisenhower. IDOT also says emergency projects at the entrances to the Stevenson and Lakeshore Drive, which are a little south of where we are right now, also caused some delays. Reporting live, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Lauren, thanks so much.